uh, I saw there's uh, some new name here. Uh, I think Ausan, welcome Ausan, Abrar, and Nadia. Okay, and then which is oh Shelin. Okay, I think I know you already. <laughs> okay, uh, for Ausan maybe. So uh, I I want to we uh, we want to know more about you. Maybe uh, could you tell us more about you and then what is uh, your fun fact maybe? Okay, I'm live live in Jakarta. No, my fun fact actually I'm three times said it today. Uh, um, I'm I'm Chinese, but I more look like Japanese. Okay. <laughs> what chapter will you be working uh, with, Asan? What what sir? What chapter will you be working with? Uh, what you what 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 the meaning of you chapter? Which, which chapter will you be joining? Oh, finance, finance. Oh, finance. Okay, welcome, Osan. Okay, nice thank you, Tendi. Nice to meet yeah. you, Tendi. Okay, and then the next, Abrar Kadabrar. <laughs> welcome, Abrar. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, yeah, my name is Abrar. Yeah, my name is Abrar. So, uh, the a uh, chapter that I will be joining in the finance and uh, fun fact about me <laughs> I think uh, I'm trying uh, I, I try a new hobby like uh, cycling nowadays because yeah I've done nothing uh, much uh, the activities so I, I try to do something like uh, workout activities as well yeah <laughs> okay nice to meet you abrar yeah, okay so you. you're working on the which chapter on the finance uh, the well? finance yeah uh -huh. okay thank you nice to meet you i think for the next oh i saw nadia too here in <laughs> i think there's a bug or something uh, okay welcome nadia uh, could you tell us more about you hello um sorry my my connections was kind of interrupting um, so my name is Nadia. Um, I'm in the chapter of IT product development, I think, with Mas Bayu. Yeah. What is your fun fact? Oh, um, I'm a UI UX designer. Wow. How long have you do that? Sorry? How long have you do the designing? Oh, so actually, um, I just graduated from a master in UI UX design in Spain. Oh. And yeah, so I've been doing kind of projects related to that as well. Okay, nice to meet you, Nadia. Nice to meet okay. You okay, maybe uh, I would like to introduce also Dista. Maybe Dista, could you tell us uh, more about you? And then uh, <laughs> what is your uh, favorite one? Uh, why you why you come back to look at this family? <laughs> okay, hello again, everyone. This is here, and now I'm still studying in uh, tourism programming GM. And then, of course, I'm in the HR chapter. <laughs> and fun fact about me, uh, I got love Italy, of course, you know. And then, yeah, that's all. Okay, Hi. thank you. Uh, yes, nice to meet thank you. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe also here uh, there is a uh, Ross. Uh, she, is, she is also a new intern uh, in here. Uh, it's just start uh, this week, yeah, Ross. Okay, I hope uh, I hope also we can uh, work together, yeah. Oh, I saw a new person, Maria. Yes. Hello, Maria. Yes. Hi, uh, everyone. Hello. So, um, could you uh, you are as an intern, right? Yes, I'm okay. an intern here. Okay, could you uh, tell me, tell us uh, more about you, and then what is your fun fact, Maria? Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Maria, and I'm from Semarang. And fun fact about me that, well, yeah. I look younger than my old. Okay. I think that's all. Nice to meet you. Which chapter uh, you will working on? Oh, I'm 
Um, it's AR chapter. Ah, I see. It's AR, yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Uh, welcome, guys. So today, actually, actually, we will have um community scrum. So we have a scrum every Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. So if you want to join, so you can join at uh, 1 p.m. Wita. Uh, and then we will be here uh, on this channel, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe uh, for today, uh, since we have a lot of um, some newcomers, so maybe I will be the chairman, Ross. So could you be my secretary, Ross? Yes, I can. Talk. Okay, thank you. Uh, a moment, I guess. Tendi, you haven't introduced yourself. Okay, uh, I will share my screen. Tendi, you need to introduce yourself. I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, my name is Tendi. So, um, previously, I working on the uh, HR, on the hospitality uh, service manager. And then uh, now, uh, I'm working on the community manager. So mostly uh, what I'm doing is um, I meet the, with the partner, uh, have a discussion, and then collect a feedback and everything to improve our service. And then also, uh, maybe the fun fact about me is um, uh, I love beatbox. So I love beatbox so much. So sometimes I do it uh, while working. I just sound <laughs> with my mouth and then like uh, makes me enjoy actually. So just like uh, enjoy and relax uh, when uh, I'm working. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, uh, what? Uh, okay, sure. Okay, Celine, thank you. Uh, I will have a look. Yeah, okay, let me open discussion manager. Okay, thank you. So, uh, uh, today we have a guest uh, from the HR. Actually, uh, uh, she is uh, Shailin. So, I would like to give the floor for uh, Shailin first uh, because uh, I think you have another uh, work after this. So, uh, do you want to uh, lead the discussion or I will lead this, Shailin? Um, okay. Um, thank you, Tendi. Um, so this is actually uh, the employee service, uh, employee engagement survey. So um, I need to have the community members to fill up the survey. I think you, Ross, uh, Omrafik, and Gabby can fill it um, by today, if possible. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, Ross, uh, could you please uh, mention or take the uh, me, Rafik? uh gb and you also to fill it by today yeah okay i will make sure uh we are filling uh all the survey today Celine. okay thank you and okay. yeah yeah is there all i'll leave the room yeah 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 okay That's all. thank you thank Celine, you. for joining us okay okay then we will back to this um panel okay so actually uh since we have uh some new people here so the first uh, i would like to explain it a bit about the, our flow uh, on when we are doing the scrum. So the, uh, the beginning, uh, usually we will open the, this Trello board. Uh, so in this Trello, we have uh, some general list, like uh, the structure, and then like uh, the about the chapter meeting management and everything like uh, in general. And then the second one, you have the mission. So if you guys want to uh, see like uh, what is the community mission, so you can have a look here. And then the third one, we have the external SLA. So you, you guys also can check like uh, what is the SLA on the community that we have to serve the other chapter. So for example, like this, so this is the SLA about the cleanliness standard. You can also see like uh, what is the KPI, how we deliver, and then how to achieve here as well. So uh, also there's a community, the funnel for the update uh, about the SLA. Okay. Oh yeah, for the SLA itself, if you guys also uh, the, doesn't know like uh, before what is SLA, so SLA uh, 
like uh, the name is service level agreement is like uh, the agreement between uh, two person or two chapter or two company and uh, so they have like a uh, one agreement to about the how deliver the service like that okay the third, uh, the fourth one we have the internal sla so the internal S sla uh, itself uh, like a uh, the the sla like uh, in inside of the chapter or inside of the of the company or inside of the group so this like um, internal that uh, so uh, why we make the internal SA that's uh, that's uh, supposed to be also support the external so like uh, we have the external SLA and then we have the internal SA so the SL, internal SLA should be support the external how to like uh, support thing like uh, how to achieve the external SLA that okay and then the 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 next one is the champ, uh, campaign program so uh, for the campaign itself like uh, we make the campaign like a, a pro, like a, a campaign program to 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 supporting as well like uh, the pivoting like uh, how we we achieve the sla and the external as well so actually all the sla or the campaign program is uh, related like that so they have the like a relation okay and then we also have like an idea and then like a, a list of the each member in the community that have a project uh, here and then also we have the pending that like uh, some project that we will pending it first and then some abandoned and then the project that uh, already done so you guys also can check like uh, which project that we have done and which project is uh, why uh, we abandon like that okay so far is there any question Okay, I think that's uh, clear. So, so the first, so we will um, discuss it about the uh, campaign, like uh, the update of the campaign. So, uh, for the camp, uh, for the first, so oh yeah, for the campaign, well, we put the top uh, on the list. That's like uh, but uh, it's our priority. So we put the partner refund contract as the first priority, and then the community engagement meeting as the second priority, and then uh, like a uh, continuing to the to the below like uh, until the low priority like that, that. so the, for the partner uh, refund contract uh, for the update uh, yeah we have the make the meeting uh, actually with the uh, Ross and then uh, Wayana so the result is uh, the partner uh, will use the new version of the contract and then spread out all the partner using the ever sign and also work with the product development to for the partner anniversary instead of the contract end and then Ross also will create the contract for the partner using ever sign uh, yesterday uh, Ross already make uh, the list like of uh, which partner that already used the ever sign and then also uh, already got the the list that uh, which partner that will be prioritized for this month and then also uh, I think uh, today Ross also will create um, the contract uh, for the for the draft and then uh, I will collect the email of the partner to, uh, for send it the uh, contract uh, via oversign like that okay the second one is the community engagement meeting so for this one uh, maybe I will open the funnel here Okay, for the community engagement meeting, uh, maybe I will pass to Om Rafiq. Uh, what is the update for the community enge engagement meeting for this month? Om Rafiq? Hello, your, your voice is breaking. Okay, uh, I will repeat it, yeah, Om. Uh, is it clear now? Yeah. No? Okay, yeah. So, uh, for the community engagement for this month, um, what is uh, our topic for this month? Like, um, and then uh, what is our uh, strategy for the community engagement uh, program for this month? I think because we will start uh, from tomorrow for the engagement, right? Oh yeah. Uh, thank you, Tendi. So it's clear now. So the topic now we doing on the community engagement regarding the commission that is the first one the community commission regarding the airbnb commission is markup of 15 percent instead of three percent before that is the first one and then the second one uh, me and tenny will talk about the facebook strategy today regarding the what is the topic 
uh, because we need to engagement face to face or via call regarding the because it's very what is called crucial regarding the commission from Airbnb. We need to talk uh, more clearly with the owner. That's why I will finish it today at Canggu. And then the Facebook strategy, I will talk with you at 3 p.m. I think already set up the meeting with you. I think that's all about the community engagement. Back to you, Andy. Okay, thank you, Om Rafik. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, that's we will, that's uh, we will, um, what's called the strategy for this month for the community engagement uh, what the um, graphic said so we will talk about the uh, about the commission commission's uh, strategy I think that's the urgent one that we need to talk to the partner okay we will be back to the campaign okay the next one is uh, the cleanliness Sorry. yes um? uh, did it this time yes <laughs> Oh, oh Dista, nice to meet you again. Oh my God, I just, I just recognize you. So, this is really, this is really Dista or yes, somebody really else. Do. Okay, nice to meet you, and nice to meet you, everyone. Good to see you again. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Om Rafik. So we will move to the next uh, campaign. For this is for the cleanliness uh, campaign. So actually, if we, we if we can see the the update, so uh, from the previous update is uh, previously we got uh, eighty percent responded uh, from the total of the partner, and then uh, there is a move ahead uh, uh, like a three percent uh, from the partner. I think that's about a four of five or six partner that's uh, responded uh, ready, and then from the from the eighty three percent partner that responded. Uh, 76 uh, partner is already joining the program. Uh, even Bu Lily as well uh, already confirmed to me also uh, in Olala to join it and then we'll use the new standard. And then also uh, I have a train as well uh, for uh, 84% uh, percent, like uh, the Kamisama uh, also and double A and double D as well for the for the training of the cleanliness standard. And then also uh, for the observation and, and testing. So from the the property that already have been training before so i had uh, contact uh, them like uh, in the in the two days and then yesterday and then uh, do the observation and testing and then they are really uh, ready for for what's called for welcoming the guests and then yeah just uh, just just feedback from them like um uh, maybe if if possible to to give uh, some guests so we can practic practically uh, doing the the new protocol of the cleanliness standard like that okay thank you is there any question maybe from the cleanliness program okay i think that's pretty much clear uh, okay the next one is uh, this is the community page uh, yeah i think i, I haven't uh, touched touched this yet uh, sorry uh, because yesterday i was i was focused on the cleanliness standard program and then maybe yes jing do you have anything that you want we're to gonna do that today with the interns that's gonna be our exercise so um in a, as part of my program um i'd like to actually do a full stack so i'd like to get the interns involved in a campaign right away what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and practice this together and uh tendy you can be my witness so that uh so that you'll know how to do it in the future right so oh, we're gonna sure. cover slas we're gonna cover a campaign we're going to get everybody to con contribute and put in leads. And then we're going to assign time blocking on people's calendars so that they can work on this regularly. Sound good? Yes, that's good, sir. OK. OK, then thank you. So we will do it now or later for, for this? What do you think, sir? Jing? Hello, Jing? Uh, yes. Hi. Yeah. Uh, do you want to me uh, assign now or uh, later? Later. You can delegate to me. I'll. I'll, I'll okay. Sir. Sure. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll do it for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. For the next one, for reducing the booking conflict. Uh, for this one, let me see the update. Uh, okay. I think uh, I have tell Gabby to to train uh Ross like uh, how to do it the 
the the the training of for the bigger and as well as well i i have tell ross to see the video for the training and then ross will we start this week yeah for uh, the training and then if we can see the funnel so from the total partner uh, that's already been uh, responded like a for 85 percent from the total partner and then it's still like a uh, half already trained so uh, Gabby can uh, train like a half of uh, the 45 percent more for the partner that already responded then the partner that already testing is 93 percent and then also uh, I'm working with the HR as well for the uh, what's called bigger integration so we will treat uh, the staff and the owner uh, for using the bigger so uh, like uh, if uh, if the owner or partner like asking about the guest arrival or or, or uh, details so we'll tell like uh, to check the bigger so because uh, we know like uh, it's 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 uh, it's cannot like uh, as as quick as uh, like uh, they will use it but we will treat them to to make them like um, uh, that's like uh, the common like uh, flow for every day to to check the bigger for the check the guest detail okay thank you i think that's uh, all for the campaign program update and then we will move it to the discussion management okay in here uh, let me see if there is any new topic uh, for the community it's already this done okay so this is uh, from Ross okay so uh, Ross could you tell uh, more about uh, your topic Kak, uh, before it, uh, can you zoom again? Yeah, so I just uh, have like a uh, question or inspiration last night about uh, is there a possibility that Bukit Vista can also manage a property in the other types like a cam camper van? Uh, I think about camper van is a uh, very head have very unique uh, and new uh, experience for our guests. Yeah, uh, we know that Bukit Pista is have identity as a hospitality manager, um, but is there a possibility uh, we can uh, act as hospitality man manager uh, also uh, like, apa ya? Uh, Minix, uh, their travel to, yeah, is, is the first question. Okay, thank you, Ross. Uh, maybe for this one, uh, maybe from, I will ask Rafik first. What do you think, Om? Hello? Can yes, you hear me? Okay. Regarding uh, Rose's question, is there any possibility that BP also manage? I think things already write down that one. So as you know, we have a lot of a unique property uh, at BP. We have a tree house as well. We have a lot of properties is uh, very unique. But if you asking about the like a camper van like that, hmm. I cannot uh, answer it right now because the camper van is not really, really famous at Bali exactly because we are uh, made it property at Bali mostly and also Jogja and that is, that is, that is very good if we uh, saw Jing's uh, comment that is but if you asking about the if we manage another uh, what is called another side of property. We made it tour as well. We made it if they want to swimming, for example, or we going to water boom. They want to rent a car like that. So we not only the property management, but we also hospitality on other side. Like for example, they they want to spend a night at uh, Lopina, for example. They want to see the dolphin. We, we can arrange that. It's not only the property management. That is that is my my answer for the first question, Rose. Okay, yeah, thank you, Omrani. 
uh, for your uh, answer. Maybe uh, I saw Jim put uh, some uh, answer here. Maybe could you tell us uh, about the whales, dolphin, and tuna, sir? Sure. So the uh, I saw this post from my boss when I was working at Airbnb, JJ. So this guy's pretty accomplished. He was one of the growth managers at Airbnb for the Southeast Asia region. And also later he became a vice president at Carousel before Carousel got really big in Singapore. So he wrote this piece just a few days ago and I thought it was brilliant. So he talked about three different kinds of ocean creatures. There's whales, dolphins, and tuna. So you need all three in order for, let's say this to work. So the tuna is essentially something that is uh, a minimum quality but huge amount of supply. So in the Book of Vista case, the tuna for us is a guest house. It's at minimum quality, but lots of supply. And that's what makes an elegant marketplace, right? Lots of tuna. You need some dolphins, which are essentially things that are spectacular, right? Things that are more aspirational. So dolphins in this case are like maybe our beachfront villas, our, uh, our cliff villas, our, our, our tree houses, the bamboo houses that we have in Ubud, these are beautiful properties that are very unique. They're more, they're more aspirational properties, right? The top stuff is actually something we have never gone into, right? But, but to answer Rose's question, I would say yes. A camper van is like a dolphin. It's an aspirational experience and it becomes conversational identity. It becomes part of the brand. Oh, you know, you should stay with Bugat Vista. Bugat Vista has camper vans. They have tree houses. They have, you know, such and such and such, right? And so that makes that experience much more um, story worthy than I stayed in a cheap guest house, right? There's not really too much to talk about at that level. The third level is actually something we've never done before, which is a whale. A whale is like Beyonce's house or like, you know, um, staying maybe at the Monas Monument or, uh, or arranging a stay at the Uluwatu Temple, right? Um, or, or, or at Tanalat. Now that kind of thing is mostly done for top of line awareness. If you arrange for something like that, you host somebody at the Uluwatu Temple, then you could be sure that you'll get a lot of press and a lot of awareness about what you do. So I think it's actually pretty, this is really strategic. It's also very enlightening. It zooms out. Um, to answer your question, Rose, yeah, we should collect as many. Remember, at the end of the day, we are not selling accommodations. We're selling an accommodation that anchors an experience. We're really selling the experience. The accommodation is kind of like the, the, the seed, right? But what happens is you, you should think of how do you build the fruit around that seat. How do you build like the, the um, you know, like the, like the durian around the durian seat. Um, so the accommodation is an anchor, but it's really the experience that, that you sell that makes you different from another accommodation. So thinking about that, I think is really, really good for us. That's a very, that's inspired a light, right? You're thinking of ways how you can inspire people. Um, Going back to what Rafik said, yes, we, we, we host primarily in Bali, we host primarily in Jogja, but I think at this point everything is open, right? There's no one location that's, at least for the time being, better than any other location right now. Um, Bali's closed. I mean, it's really hard to get in right now. So yeah, traditionally we've been in Bali, but maybe we become a camper van if that's a big thing and we can get thousands of camper vans and we can find a way to work with camper van owners or camper van fleets. Yeah, sure, why not, right? Like that would be a good pivot. That's what people want to buy. Then that's the kind of product that we should use to anchor the guest experience. So yeah, I think that's good. And then the second one is about owner and management. Okay, so a little bit about our history. Um, I've always thought of Book of Vista mostly as a software type company. So you can think of it this way. Who is more powerful? Uh, I don't know, Oppo or Android, right? Um, or Huawei or Android, or or Xiaomi or Android. Um, all these are different types of 
phone manufacturers. Oppo is a phone manufacturer. Huawei is a phone manufacturer. Xiaomi is a phone manufacturer. Samsung is a phone manufacturer. Uh, Sony manufactures phones. They all make phones. They all make hardware. There's only one software, right? It's all Android. So for me, it was always like, if you look across Indonesia or Southeast Asia or the world, in fact, you'll find that there is a lot of hardware everywhere. Nothing stops you from building a new guest house, a new villa. But the limitation is always the same. The limitation is, as there becomes more and more hardware available, these all compete with each other. And the software, the soft skills, start becoming more and more valuable. Like, all right, you have a villa, so does 100 other people. They all have villas. So how do you make sure that people will actually stay in your villa as opposed to any of your competitors? Well, this is where your management comes in. This is where your services comes in. This is where your response time to a guest inquiry. This is where does the guest feel satisfied with how they're being introduced to the area? Do they actually get a rich experience after staying in your property? Do you actually innovate and think of new ways to keep your property steered in the desirable segment of the market? Do you have business analysts that analyze your pricing and figure out what you should price at? Are there people working on your revenue strategy? Are there people working on your marketing strategy? The usual answer is no for many people. They really don't have anybody working on any of that. So then what happens is that they start losing position. So we have to decide, I think, what side we want to be on. Um, do we want to be in hardware or do we want to be in software? Um, there's good reason to be in both, honestly, right? Um, you can probably own properties and still manage them very well. But remember, that could be a distraction. <laughs> you have your own property and you manage that really well. And then you don't really think about how do I actually make the other 300 properties or 400 properties that I'm managing do as good as me? So in many ways, what I've seen is this. Most of the big hotel brands that we all know, Marriott, Hyatt, Hilton, Four Seasons, they don't own any single property. Their names are on the property, but it's actually owned usually by a third party, right? So it's owned by somebody. They bring in the brand to manage, to market, and to operate the property. So they can call, you know, it's just, it's like Jing's Hotel, but nobody's going to stay at Jing's Hotel, right? Who the hell is Jing? But if I say Jing's Hotel is managed now by Four Seasons, then that's a different story, right? So most of the hotel companies that you see, they actually don't own the the, the building that their name is on. Um, most buildings that you see the name on are not owned by the name of, that's usually just branding as well. You see a building, it's called the Citibank building. Uh, Citibank just paid the building owner for the right to put their name on it. So that's something that you learn later on. There's a difference between ownership and management. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe we could try it. I mean, like, it could be a good investment, but uh, but yeah, we're 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 very much focused on the software. Um, this is the reason why you are all here. Why do we have so many interns here? Why do we keep on bringing interns? Part of it is if we bring on more people, then we think about how do we actually build better systems, right? If we just do like let's say like there's not a lot of business right now. There's no reason we need 20, 30 interns at the moment. But why do we do it? You're thinking about how do you actually build a system for not today, for when things get better, right? But that's what we're doing with our time right now. What we're hoping to show the interns is how do you actually build your own company? Um, how do you actually think about scalable systems that, that do very complex things like what Tendi and Rafik and, uh, and, and Ross, who's just recently joined, are doing? How do you get 100, 200 properties to all have the same standard, to all care equally? about the things that we care about. And that's difficult. And that's something that we're still trying to figure out. Okay, back to you, Char. Okay, thank you, Jing. I think um, that's uh, really clear for me as well. Uh, for um, the whales, Torpen and Tuna, that's a good uh, like a philosophy as well. Like, to describe it, like um, what is the Ross uh, question here? So maybe I will uh, pass to Ross. Uh, what do you think, uh, Jing? Uh, answer is, is that like, uh, do you have any comment or do you have any like um, something that you still uh, want to ask, Ross? 
Yeah, I agree with the comments. I think uh, no, I don't have uh, like uh, question oh, oh, about okay. it. Yeah, may I know why you agree? Which part do you agree, Ross? Uh, with the dolphin part, I think. Yeah, what is that? But I can't, but uh, we're not selling uh, accommodation, but also experience. So uh, we have like a new innovation. Okay, okay, thank you, Ross. Uh, maybe uh, to our son, uh, so oh, what, what do you think uh, the, the really difference between the dolphin and whales that Jing said before? Okay, I think uh, tuna, eh, dolphin and whales. Dolphin is more rare than eh, whales, more rare than dolphins. A uh, well is something something very rare like temples and uh, artist house is very very make us famous but it's very very hard to uh, do that but if can do that we can more uh, famous than before I think okay thank you uh, Ausan yeah I think that's that's like uh, the the premium like, uh, like, like uh, the exclusive one so the that's like a, a bronze silver and then gold maybe package some or something so it's if you can if you can if you can uh, get the guest like uh to buy our gold product uh, so that will be like um great right so we can give more experience and like um uh, really like uh maybe unforgettable for the guests and then uh for 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 their experience uh, when they stay with us like that that's okay. right that's right okay thank you Ausan. So I think that's uh, uh, covering uh, the Ross question here. So I will do the uh, the next. Uh, maybe uh, from you guys, is there any topic that you want to bring up? Maybe from Om Rafiq or uh, Abrar. Maybe there is there is something that you want to asking to us. Okay. Uh, I think uh, no one have a question. So, uh, Jing, do you have anything uh, that you want to talk? Uh, no, that's it for me. Um, yep, that's that's all I have to say. Okay. Uh, since I also doesn't have uh, any topic yet uh, until now, uh, maybe after this uh, uh, that we talking about uh, before, like a delegation uh, to Jing as well for the community page. Uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, that's. Uh, you will arrange uh, it, yeah, Jing. Yes, uh, if I can, I'll, I'll try to get what I can done in the next few minutes. I'll yes. just need to share the screen real quick, right? Okay. So what I'd like to do right now with everyone is this. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, and bring this bring this up. Um, okay. So what we're gonna do? Uh, this is for the interns. Uh, okay. So let me set the set the stage first. For the interns, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little project. Okay. And for everybody else, I want you to kind of look at how we can actually effectively organize people spontaneously to work on a project. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to state what the project is. The project, as I've told the interns before, is to get started on this program, which is a program to actually reach out and build a community page. So we have the campaign right here. We can see the, uh, the situation in the campaign right now. Attendees in charge of sourcing and creating appointments. Um, there's a question list, editing the video, and posting the content. So those are also the, the four layers that are going to be there. But let's just start with this first. Let's start with the uh, funnel update. Oh, okay, we have a funnel here. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have inside the funnel. So when we look inside the funnel, ah, okay, it's this type of funnel. Um, let me see, let's see what it looks like. Okay, ah, it goes over here. All right, so what I'm gonna make is this. I want to uh, invite all the interns first to see this card. I think everyone can see it at this point. Is there anybody who uh, is not able to see this card at the moment? No, okay. 
what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna break this up. We're gonna break this up so that everybody has a particular role, okay? Um, Dista, I'll go with you first, right? I need Dista to, let's say, find, okay, we're gonna do this, right? We're going to uh, discover contacts. Dista, who are some people, a category of people, who would be involved in a property owner's life before they met Book of Vista, before they met Book of Vista? Hmm. Uh, sorry, sir, you mean uh, the people who will contribute to uh, the property management? Uh, before that. So, Dista, uh -huh. I want you to imagine you're going to go and build a villa now. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have, uh, you know, you, you came into half a million dollars and you're going to build yourself mm -hmm. a spanking, really awesome villa. Now, who's the first person you might want to go and talk to? Mm, the designer. Okay, we need to look for architects. Okay, so yeah. let's cover contact architects and uh, that's this stuff. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and create this then. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get this organized. We're gonna go use paper. And what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna create a new document. And this is gonna be our community building plan. Community building plan, okay? And in the very first step, we are going to have a stage and then a result. And the first stage is outreach, okay? Outreach, and that is architect, okay? I want this to you to open this paper, and while we are talking, this, uh, I want you to go on and search for architects, okay? I want you to come back with emails here, okay? So this is gonna come back with emails from architects that build in Bali and Jogja, okay? Okay, all right, so Dista, uh, go ahead and get started on that. Uh, I Have I shared the link yet in the group? Let me see if I haven't. Here is the link to the paper, okay? So Dista, open the paper and start searching for architect contacts. Great, okay, next, let me go to Asan. Asan. As this owner is going about and looking for uh, an architect, who else would they be maybe talking to along that journey, Asan? Contractor. Right, very good. Outreach. Uh, Asan, I need you to start working on this and give me contractors that you can find that work in Bali and Jogja. So same as like what Dista is doing, but the next layer. Okay, next. Um, outreach. Let's go over to uh, let's go over to Abrar. Besides uh, contractors and architects, uh, Abrar, who else might a new villa owner come into contact with? To build the villa. Mm -hmm. yeah. To build the villa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, like. Okay, let's go to Maria. Uh, Maria, who else would a person who's building a villa might use uh, along their way? Maybe finance or marketing for promoting your villa and to know uh, how much money you can build your villa before contacting the architect, actually. <laughs> okay, maybe a financial planner, right? Okay, I want yeah. you, Maria, to look for it. Look for that online. Start going on Google, wherever. Try finding me some emails of a person who might be involved in that, like a financial planner or a, a person involved in that line. Nadia, who no. else uh, would you imagine would be involved in the in this process who else is somebody who would be uh that villa owner would go to before they met us um i would say in um interior designer excellent interior designer yes okay and this is where i need your help uh nadia 
So let's look for some interior designers and bring their emails uh, onto this page, okay? Um, next, let's go back to Abra. Okay, Abra, back to you. Uh, do you have any new ideas of somebody who would be involved in bringing this in? Maybe. Finding like the staff. Oh, okay. Staffing, yeah. For okay. housekeeping uh, and maybe cleaning services, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Abra, uh, Abra, sorry. Uh, I need you to then go and find me some emails for people who do that, okay? Okay. Okay. So welcome in and start working. Okay. Tendi, your side. Who is somebody that you know? might be involved in the villa process that nobody has mentioned so far, Tendi. Mm, so far, um, I think uh, the furniture. Yes, excellent. Furniture, yes. Furniture. Furniture providers, okay. Okay. All right, Tendi, uh, we need you to find some furniture providers there. Let's go to Rafik. Rafik, what about you? Uh, who is somebody that might be involved in the um, in this process? Everyone said the, the architect and everything, but you forget about the permit. Too. If you yes. want to build a villa, you must have a permit from the government. Ijin mendirikan bangunan, right? Okay. And can you find me some people that help you with that, right? Like, are there any brokers or agents or business services that help you find IMB type type uh, situations? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's start building. Okay. Let's start. Let's start trying this out. Okay. So thank you very much, Dista. Okay, Dista's brought in one. I need lots. I need like dozens, right? We need we need a lot of it, uh, a lot of contacts at this point because we're going to build quite a bit. So as you guys are working on that, I'll talk about the next sort of uh, face. So dist has got essentially a, a, a contact for me. Just emails at this point. No need for phone numbers or anything. We're just going to use email out, outreach, okay? So uh, dist has got me an email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next stage and I'm going to invite them into my program, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, actually not from careers. I'm going to try a different email. I'm going to try from property partnerships, okay? So this is my property partnership email. Let me close this. Let me close that. And this is where I go out and I start emailing people about whether or not they want to partner with me. Okay, so uh, this is what I do. I, I remove this. It's a spam. Uh, okay, everyone keep on doing Yeah, Everyone kind of just listen to me in the background, but keep working on what you're working on. So what I'll do is I'll take the first contact and then I will say, um, I have to put in a title that is really interesting, right? So I'll say um, marketing, collaboration, opportunity. Uh, we want to uh, introduce you to our uh, property owners, to our clients, okay? So I'm putting this in because people who open this hopefully will be interested, right? If I just say boring shit like, oh, take part of a survey, they're not going to be interested. So I go with the benefit. Um, I'm telling you the benefit I want to introduce to my clients, okay? So then let's say I'll begin. Uh, hello there. Um, my name is Jing and I'm the CEO of Book and Vista, right? And you can just say whoever you are. You don't need to say your CEO. Just introduce yourself, okay? Uh, I would like a short moment to introduce uh, an idea that I think could be mutually beneficial. All right, great. So uh, we are a villa management company based in Bali. And we operate close to 150 plus properties uh, between Bali and Jogja. 
Georgia, Georgia, Kafka. Okay, we would like to interview your uh, principles, your leadership, and um, and uh, introduce your services to our uh, clientele. Okay. Um, we're aiming to build a trusted community of, um, of service providers connected to the property owner community. Uh, in relation, okay, something like that, right? Um, if you're interested to speak more, please sign up for a time sign up for a time on our calendar. Okay, and that's kind of it. Okay, I'm gonna make this more efficient because we don't want to waste a lot of time, right? So instead of us going backwards and forwards, saying, what time are you free? No, I'm not free this time, what time are you free? I'm gonna use a tool called Calend Calendly. Calendly is a beautiful tool that allows anybody to start scheduling events. Now what I wanna do is this. I want to schedule events, um, and I want to make sure that there's an event that I can do this in. Okay, so maybe I use this one: partnership office hours. Right? I have a dedicated um, I have a dedicated timetable that I can offer somebody, and when they see it, what they do is this: they look on the partnership timetable, and they can see every day I'm available around five or five thirty. Okay, makes it easy. No need to ask what time you're available. Can you do this hour? Can you do that hour? No, 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 that's all bullshit, right? We don't waste our time on that one. We just kick this Calendly meeting, we copy it, copy, and then we go over here uh, and post it right there. If they're a real moron and they don't know how to do that, then I just go ahead and I web link it and all they have to do is click here, right? Um, just click on the link and please find a time and we'll speak more. Okay, all right, done. Um, way to build a trusted community of service that are connected to uh, providers that serve um, the serve property owners. Uh, we would like to invite you to be part of that process. Okay. All right, so that's essentially it, all right? I'm gonna save some time um, because I don't wanna write this every single time. So I'm gonna use another tool that will save me some time. This tool is what we call Text Expander. So what Text Expander does is it essentially allows me to, it allows me to create a snippet. So I don't want to write that over and over again. I want to keep it simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this a uh, community or uh, trust community invitation, right? Trust com inv. And what I get now is I can keep on doing these letters really quickly. Okay. Um, at the same time, I don't want to write the title every time. I want to keep it consistent. So I go back to Tech Expander and I create a second one for title. I'll call this trust uh, com uh, subject, right, SUB, okay? Now, what happens now? Check this out. When I create a new message, right, this is my new message now, new message, close my old message, I just write trust com SUB, whoops, sorry, trust com SUB, and there is my message subject, I don't need to write that whole message again. And then I then go trust com invite and uh, it creates the entire letter for me again. So wow, look, a bra is like mind blown, right? No need to copy and paste anymore. It's faster than copy and pasting and it's it's more, more effective that way, okay? All right, so then what do I do? I, I'm good, that looks like it's ready to go and I hit send, okay? I hit send, and now, uh, okay, thank you everyone for putting the rest here. Uh, oh yeah, for Nadia, the contacts go over here, okay, 
And uh, the response is if any of them respond back to me, okay, that's when I put the response back. So I take the email of somebody who has responded and then I put them on the next stage of the funnel, which is going from contact to response. Now I go up to my community page and I can say, all right, everyone has a different SLA now, right? So you guys are all covering different SLAs. DISTA is covering discovering contacts for architects. Um, let's split this screen in half so I can be more efficient and let's keep on going. Okay, DIST is in charge of discovering contacts for architects, right? And then uh, Aosan is discovering contacts for, what kind of people are you discovering contacts for, Aosan? Uh, contractor, sir. Excellent, all right. So then let's go over to Maria. Maria, what kind of people are you discovering contacts for? Planner? Yes. Maria is financial planner. Okay, let's go over to uh, let's go over to Nadia. Nadia, what contacts are you discovering for? Interior designer. Excellent. Okay, IDs. Okay, let's go next to um, Tendi. What contacts are you discovering for? Uh, for furniture. Okay, furniture. Okay. Uh, okay, so furniture and. Uh, did I get everyone? Uh, and this is in charge of architects. Uh, okay, that's it, right? For, oh, oh, Rafik, Rafik, sorry. Uh, Rafik, what, what people are you in charge for? Uh, Rafik, is Rafik there? Oh, uh, Rafik's on the phone. Okay, uh, we've run out of time right now, actually, but... This is something that I want everyone to keep on doing, okay? So don't, don't lose track of this paper. This is an SLA. Now, let me give you the next part of the SLA. I want each of you to come up with five to 10 contacts, okay, by the end of the day. So five to 10 contacts, and then we're gonna use the property management email to email everyone, and then I'll tell you more about how that works, right? And funny that everyone should come in for PR. Because this is a little bit of what we would do for PR2 as well. So there's a good crossover there. Okay, I think we're done for community then. I'll pass it back to Tendi. Okay, thank you very much, sir, for uh, showing us uh, how, how to actually make a um, spontaneous project uh, management or campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll help you guys also uh, get the, the next uh, four contact or five contact for by the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much actually for joining the community scrum. So I will uh, let you guys to continue your work. Yeah. Have a good day and happy Wednesday, eh, Thursday. Happy Thursday.